Hey guys, so I feel so bad right now. I'm looking at my screen and there's like a fly on the inside of the screen in my window. I'm like, how did you get in there? <laughs> like, how are you in between the screen and the window? So that's just a random <laughs> thought. Um, I'm going to be filming my September favorites. I know I filmed a current favorites video not too long ago because I kind of missed out on August favorites. So some of my September favorites were in there also, but I have enough things <laughs> to do a video again. What else is new? Um, but first of all, obviously it goes without saying that probably my biggest favorite this whole month were the NARS Audacious Lipsticks. And I'm really not going to spend time talking about them because I have talked about them so much in videos lately. I will say that I'm wearing Anna right now and um, pretty much any day this month I was wearing one of these. Um, except for probably a couple of days here and there. And um, yeah, I'm gonna do things differently. Let's talk about lipsticks first. They're my favorite thing ever, so it makes sense. Um, Oh, I wanted to mention this because I forgot to mention it in my um, current favorite lipsticks video. And this is totally a favorite, like one of my absolute favorites for fall is another one from NARS and it's Bonzar from, um, correct me if I'm pronounced, or forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong, don't necessarily correct me because that could be annoying. <laughs> but, um, this is um, from their fall collection. I need to sharpen it because I've used it a lot so it's getting getting down there but um this is oh it's one of their satin lip pencils which I love these anyways they do kind of taste like pencils but honestly I've, I've tasted worse lip products so that's the color um I do I was wearing it in a face of the day on Instagram before if you want to see how it looks on my lips um it's stunning I love this the formula is really nice as well I like I said I love the formula of these NARS pencils um they they don't even though they're a pencil they don't feel dry at all they're kind of creamy but they also um wear down nicely they don't leave like settle into um they don't settle into the center of your lips or anything um yeah that's pretty much all i have to say about that next um i've mostly been liking the higher end lipsticks but i do have a couple of cheaper ones to show you too don't worry um these two kevin aquan lipsticks that are from their fall collection I'm obsessed with these. I don't know how to pronounce these at all. I'm going to show you the names. <laughs> I think this is Ceridan. Ceridan. No idea. This is uh, like, oh, okay. This is a lipstick in the tube. I just swatched it on my hand, so it's a little messy. I'm going to show you both of these and then show them on your, on my hand. This is Sailar. Sailor. So Sailor, Sailor, I don't know. Um, this one is a bit more of like a peachy um, brown undertone, and Suri Dawn is more of a pink undertone. They are both stunning, and I love um, these lipsticks. I don't have. I have these two and I have um, Micavelle or however you say that one. Um, those are the only ones I have, but they smell really like fruity and sweet to me, which some people might hate, but I really like the scent. So um, I wouldn't blind order these if you've never ordered them before, if you're really sensitive to smell. Um, and they do sell Kevin Aquan at some Nordstrom's. Um, I can't believe I just said well, it's, it is plural because it's Nordstrom's. I hate when people add S's to things. <laughs> um, it's so random. I have so many like random pet peeves. But um, I just love those. I got those with the... Uh, I don't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> but anyways, I got those this month and um, love those as well. So a couple of cheaper lipsticks... I hate Wet n Wild's packaging for lipsticks, by the way, because they always get so messy because somehow like lipstick always gets inside this cap and yeah, you can like see it just gets inside the cap and 
it gets gross but this one these are both um fall collection the, my lighting's messed up right now because i have a certain little black cat who's sitting in the window right now hi mouse what are you doing this one is from the halloween collection and it's called coming in latte ha 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 it's like opi with the name <laughs> <laughs> another thing I hate is OPI nail polish names this is just not gonna focus I, I usually list everything in the info box anyways this color is so stunning for fall you know what it kind of looks a little bit in the since I just swatched that one too it looks kind of similar uh, not totally but that's Banzar and that's coming in latte so you can kind of compare them Banzar has a little bit more of a kind of mauve ness to it, but oh, so pretty. Um, and then this one is a matte one, but I really don't find that much of a difference between the two in terms of formula. This one is a Bordeaux Boulevard. I've kind of been liking purpley lips this month. And there's that one. You can tell which one it is without me pointing it out, I think. So those are were my favorite lipsticks oh no I have one more I forgot these were kind of, these, this is kind of like a pleasant surprise so I got this um I'm showing you the box too because it's kind of pretty this is, is uh, from Pacifica they sell Pacifica at Target and um, they have ha I've seen like a partial makeup collection displayed there for a long time but now they've really expanded it to have foundation concealer um and lipsticks so this one is in the shade firebird look at the how cute this is <laughs> it's in this slim kind too which again i don't like the how messy it gets but i've been so much more adventurous this month with lip colors it's such a pretty like orangey red it's kind of sheer and glossy but they smell really nice too like um kind of a woodsy vanilla <laughs> like seriously that is so on point it is a woodsy vanilla that's what it smells like but these are so pretty and easy to wear and I don't usually like um I don't really gravitate towards red lips um especially like during the day I just feel like it's too it's like too much look or something I don't know like I can wear purple I can wear all these things but for some reason red is just like too glamorous for me but like this I can wear during the day and not feel like I look like I'm trying too hard or something and um I just really love this the formula is really nice too like they feel really um nice on so definitely check those out they have like six shades and I had a hard time choosing but I wanted to do something a little different so I'm happy with my choice um another thing makeup wise since I'm talking about Target oh my gosh this little baby let's line it up right um Sony Kashuk how cute is this packaging I love Sony Kashuk by the way um their products are amazing their brushes are amazing packaging is amazing I'm a big fan um, this is the contour stick yeah chic defining contour stick there's only one shade um, I'm not really a big fan of contouring the only kind of contouring I really do is um, like I usually use some kind of bronzer or something here and kind of carry it up here just to give me some cheekbone um, but what I do with this I'm gonna swatch it real quick just so you how pigmented it is so that's that swatched what I do is I just kind of put a couple of tiny dots along here and then blend them with a stippling brush and it's just so easy and it looks really it, I'm wearing it today so it's, my blush is kind of blended into it too um, but I just think it's such a cool product and once again Sony Kashuk bringing it um, another Sony Kashuk thing I'm loving is this perfect uh, yeah I was gonna say perfect perfecting luminous foundation this is in the shade vanilla which is number two and when I first looked at it because they don't have testers which drives me crazy that's the only thing I will say I don't like about Sony Kashuk at Target is they need to get testers because their packaging 
like you can't see what the color is going to look like and like with the lipsticks too um a couple times I've bought them and been disappointed when I've opened them because they don't really depict what the shade is and like from the bottle I was like oh this is going to be really light you know I'll be good also this is hard plastic doesn't it look like it'd be squishy I kind of wish it were but um when I first I'm gonna just do it what the heck also this is really like it took me like 30 pumps to get the first pump out but um I was like oh no this is gonna be too dark um because I usually am really light surprise <laughs> showing it to you right now it looks fine but um it looks dark to me but I'm wearing it right now and I think it looks just fine so um when I used it with a, a brush my usual brush to blend it in um I love it and the f oh my god it's just like such nice medium coverage and it's just the kind of finish that I like too where it's kind of um luminous without looking oily um I did put a tiny bit of powder in my t-zone just because I am super oily without powder um I've come to just accept it because I used to just absolutely hate wearing powder um the rest of the month I've been wearing the Chanel Perfection Lumiere Velvet which I um, wasn't wearing for a long time I was trying to use up some drugstore foundations but this is a really good foundation too but um I just showed you a Sony Kashuk one too and like I said I'm a big fan of drugstore foundations that's one area where I think you can totally save your money instead of splurging is foundation um, another thing from the drugstore this Maybelline Master Precise um, I guess it's just called Maybelline Master Precise, but it's a liner pen. This is what it looks like. I've been wearing this constantly. Um, my Sony Kashuk one dried out, and I'm trying to stick with... I still have a Stila one that's brown, but I've been trying to stick with... Uh, to try out new drugstore ones, too. This is so good. It is so richly pigmented. Um, it doesn't smudge or, you know, smear. Um it's really good I'm impressed because most of the time when I try new drugstore liner pens I'm crazy disappointed so um give me just one second I will be right back sorry about that I don't know why I don't know I have a lot of friends who make YouTube videos too whenever I sit down to film a video I always have to pee really badly after talking for a few minutes <laughs> I don't know if this happens to other people TMI um but oh, I have so many more things to talk about um, a couple of fragrance favorites this month. This Jo Malone Silk Blossom. I've worn this almost every day this month. I love this. Um, when I first got it, I was like, hmm, I don't know if I like this or not. There's definitely like a bergamot note, and I'm not usually a huge fan of that, but when it dries down, it's like there's some kind of note, like I'm like, you know what a big fan I am of Elderflower and Gooseberry, which was limited edition by Jo Malone. Um, pretty much anything that has a note that's similar to that fragrance in the dry down, I'm a huge sucker for. And this just smells so like nice and soft and um, just like, yeah, whenever I smell this on myself, like later in the day, is these have a like really good staying power. Um, and I'm just like, oh, I smell really good. <laughs> like it's really weird, but it's not, like a lot of times I'll be like, you know, when you wear fragrance and stuff later in the day you're like oh I'm sick of this smell but this is not one um it's not overpowering it's just nice so that one and then also for my birthday I got um this one from Anthropology, which is called uh Dream at Dusk it's such a pretty bottle um this was only like 20 something dollars really inexpensive it's from Illum which is um they also make candles and the description on the back um, it says notes of French lavender, Siberian fir, like F I R, like the trees, and um, vanilla musk. And what's really nice about this is it's it's a lavender scent, which usually lavender. I go back and forth about whether or not I even like lavender, but this is just such a relaxing, um, soft scent that I feel like is really nice for fall, especially with the you know kind of darker you know, fur note and the musk, like it kind of makes it more, you know, less old lady and more kind of sultry, I guess. I don't know. It's really nice. There were a couple other scents too that were nice and, um, from this same release, but this was my favorite by far. 
so I've been wearing that too. Um, for nail polish, still hardcore into the Sally Hansen Miracle Gels. Dig Fig was, I wore this one for my birthday weekend. Um, huge fan of that. It lasted a good 10 days for me without really chipping. Um, I'm wearing another one right now. I can't remember the name. I'm going to list it in the info box. It's not lasting as well as the other shades I've tried, but this one has more of like a metallic finish. Um, so I don't know if that makes a difference. It's still holding up really well. This is like on the fourth or fifth day. So, I mean, other nail polishes wouldn't last as well, but just comparing to the other ones. And then NARS was actually like totally made my freaking day by sending me an email um, on or sending me a message on Instagram that they wanted to send me um, a couple of or send me something because I've been posting so much about NARS lately and I'm like I really um, I would you know I'm not trying to get anything for free I just really genuinely love NARS products especially the audacious lipsticks but they sent me a couple of nail polishes and this one in particular um, the shade name is Libertango um, it is such a awesome red orange. I love it. I have it on my toes right now and it's glorious. So um, great shade for fall. This is so such a fall shade. Um, also, I forgot two things, two makeup things. There's been a lot this month. This palette, oh, let me open it because it's, I actually use the little sponge tip applicators a lot. <laughs> I know it's taboo, but um, Hey, they get the product on. This palette from Wet n Wild, it's called A Carrot in the World, K-A-R-A-T. It's from the Halloween collection also. I am loving this palette. These three shades here are so glorious. I'm wearing, I'm wearing, that's what I have on my eyes right now. Like that's, that's it in terms of shadows. I am wearing a, the chubby stick, um, an ample amber on my lower um, lash line in place of eyeliner, but it's really good. I love Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes. And then this little baby, also available at Target. This is the Shea Moisture Blush, and I think I've mentioned this in the video before. I know I've posted about it a while back on Instagram, because um, I've had this a long time. This is the um, blush in Varcala Spice, and these blushes, actually, they sell them as little inserts, and um, you buy the compact separately. It's like $7 for the blush. Like it, it totals out to be like $10 with the um, compact and the, but it's so nice and compact. And I really think, you know, it's not that much of a price difference that it's worth it. This blush is so gorgeous. It's like kind of reminds me of like NARS Orgasm and Chanel Kanai, but like NARS Orgasm doesn't work on me and this one does. I just think it's stupendous. I've worn it almost every day this month. Of course, I'm not wearing it today because that would just be too uh too simple <laughs> um but i love those blushes they are awesome definitely check those out they look scarier in the pan than they are on the face too they look a lot darker but they're much easier to blend um i have some really sweet friends <laughs> um it was my birthday this past month as i've mentioned in a video before but my friend mallory sent me the most badass i've wanted these for so long i told her too i was like you just know me so well she um got me these temporary cat tattoos and I wore one for my birthday weekend and I want to wear another one but I really like wearing them on my wrist but I don't want to have it visible at work so I'm waiting for the perfect moment but these are the ones that are left I did post a picture um they because they last like they lasted it lasted really well without fading but um so cute thank you Mallory and I also got how cute is this card from my friend Rachel um this is like the cutest card ever even the envelope was adorable and i saved the envelope too but like the inside look at the inside i don't want to show you her note because that's personal but um so cute i love cats as you guys know okay last couple of things this mug which was also sent to me by my friend jules from walmart how freaking adorable is this fox mug i'm so obsessed with this mug that um i found out there were more things in the collection and um I asked my cousin when I was in the suburbs if she if we could make a trip to Walmart <laughs> so I could look for more and I found everything I was so excited there's a cookie jar salt and pepper shakers a plate um I got a second mug and I'm using there's also a, a bowl I'm looking over it I'm like I wonder if I should just veer over if you can see them 
they're on my vanity. I posted a picture on Instagram, but um, I'm using them for storage on my vanity and they're working out super well in that aspect. And then this one, I want to use it to drink like tea out of, but I can't even bring myself to, to use it. It's just so freaking cute. So everything was super reasonably priced too. That's one nice thing about it being from Walmart. But um, another thing I got for my birthday that I'm obsessed with is this um, Republic of Tea. It's, um, they do a lot of like themed, like they have a bunch of Downton Abbey teas and things like that. Um, this one was from the 100, to promote the 100 Foot Journey movie, which I've never seen. But um, it's cardamom and creme brulee. It's black tea with Indian spice and vanilla. Um, this tea is glorious. It's like, has this, a nice sweetness, but the car I love cardamom. I love the smell of cardamom. I love the taste of it. Um, that brings such nice, a, a nice uh, spice element to it. So good. I love Republic of Tea. It's probably my favorite brand of tea. Um, yeah, so good. And I got this tea towel from my cousin Christy. It was from Francesca's. Like, this, it's one of those things where it's like, if I would have seen this, I would have bought it for myself. That's how much I love it. So I had a lot of sweet gifts for my family, but I just, if I fish, I don't want to, you know, save it for my, my own enjoyment instead of posting it in a video. It's just my personal thing. Um, last couple of things. This, a cure, I was so excited. Um, a cure contacted me because my friend Ashley, Makeup TIA, had mentioned a video of mine and um, they watched it and they watched a couple of my videos and they reached out to me. I was so excited. You guys don't understand. Like, companies have never contacted me. Like, I'm not, you know, I, I love making YouTube videos and I do it for fun, but I've, like, I don't have, like, a, a huge following like a lot of people do and most most everything that I talk about I've bought with my own money or gotten as gifts from friends and things like that so um they contacted me and I've actually really wanted to try this brand for a long time a couple like Ashley is a huge fan of them and um I have a friend on Instagram too who's mentioned them a lot um but this in particular the brightening facial scrub oh my god it is amazing it reminds me of the Kate Somerville exfoliate like if you can see it's kind of green and pasty and um it's really good it has like a nice you know natural scent um again reminds me of exfoliate and it's like ten dollars i would totally repurchase this i'm a little bit crazy with face scrubs and i've used this almost every day since i've gotten it because that's how much i like it and you only need to use like the tiniest little amount like one little dot We'll get your whole face. I usually have enough left over to use to um, use on my elbows, my hands. Um, yeah, I love that stuff. And this um, was also from Target. This is the Hair Food um, Root Cleansing Shampoo infused with strawberry ginger fragrance. Holy crap! This stuff smells amazing. I will say that this is probably the best smelling drugstore shampoo I've ever smelled. It really does smell like ginger, and it really does smell like strawberries. It may sound like a strange combination, but it works. Trust me, you need to check this out. And I love that it has a pump. The only thing I will say is that <laughs> it took me a long time to get this to pop up. I think I had to, like, loosen something and then try it again, and then it did it. I don't even remember. It was like, I, it's like my memory blocked it out because it was so traumatic. But um, it was worth the effort. I know I mentioned these in a lipsticks video, but... Um, Two of these I got myself and two of these were gifts from my parents for my birthday. But um, these Rifle Paper Company um, Puffin in Bloom editions, oh my gosh. I am so in love with these. How gorgeous are they? I love Rifle Paper Company and I love reading. <laughs> so it kind of goes hand in hand. My two favorites are probably Little Women and um, A Little Princess. I love both of these books and I have a couple of other editions of them too. And then um, there's also Anne of Green Gables, which I haven't actually read, if you can believe that. I need to read it. And Heidi, which I haven't read either. So I'm really excited. I wish that they'd, like there are little illustrations in the insert, but other than that, you know, they, um, Anna Rifle Vaughn didn't do um, any illustrations for the inside, but 
um, I still think they're, and they're pretty reasonably priced too. On Amazon, they're about $10 each. Totally worth it, in my opinion. Last but not least, this has been a long video. Um, I'm currently reading The Good Girl by Mary Kubik. Kubica. I was covering the, C, the A with my hand and I'm guessing. I'm just looking in the monitor. Um, Kubica. Whoops. Um, this book is so good. I'm in the mood for suspense, especially because the Gone Girl movie is about to come out and I really loved the book Gone Girl. If you haven't read it, you need to. And um, I, I've always loved suspense books though. And this one really, I'd read so many really great reviews on Amazon. And um, I'm such a nerd that like, I like so many things that I asked for for my birthday were books. <laughs> so um, I have a lot of great reading to do soon. But um, I'm almost finished with this now and I'm loving it. So I wanted to mention that. I also read, um, I forgot to bring it in here to show you, Down a Dark Hall by Lois Duncan. Lois Duncan's one of my favorite authors of all time. Um, she wrote I Know What You Did Last Summer, which is probably what she's most known for, which is sad because it's not one of my favorite of her books. And they really butchered it in the movie. <laughs> and um, like there's no guy with a hook in, in the book. But um, she's written so many great like scary books and um suspenseful books and I've I just had not read that one and I couldn't believe it and Stephanie Meyer I guess she's um going to be producing a movie based on it so I was like I need to read this before the movie comes out because I hate when a movie has spoiled a book for me <laughs> but um anyways it was really good too and it's really short like under 200 pages so um anyways that is it I hope that you enjoyed um my many favorites of the month. Like I said, it's my birthday month and I feel like you tend to have more things that you love on your birthday month. Oh my god, I'm almost out of space. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Love you!